Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is January's fancy face, which I posted right at midnight for the new year. Sorry if I can't talk properly, by the way. I, this is glued on really tight, so I don't want to move this side of my mouth. So if I'm sort of flaring, that's why. This zipper look I've mostly seen with the gore side and then also this galaxy. So I thought why not do something that's a bit more glamorous. So I just thought it was a great time to do this zipper look going into a new year. Um, a lot of people want to change, make new changes in their life whether that's just what they do or who they are and so this metaphor of you know just just taking off that zipper and shedding a new skin just um, I thought was really cool for the new year. So I've just really enjoyed doing this video and really look forward to this new year and can't wait to go on this journey with you. So if you want to see how to recreate this look keep watching. So first step is the zipper just marking out where you want it to go on your face so you can do all the art you want to do inside and you could do some out but mostly on the inside so it doesn't dirty the zipper or ruin what you're going to do on the other side so I'm just going to see exactly where I want it then you'll trim obviously your excess and then just drawing a line I'm going to use a white eyeliner and um, mark it out this is really tricky when you only have two hands the rough outline just using white eyeliner. Um, I've drawn where the bottom is going to go just in case I need to know later on. You probably don't need that but it's just good to know that I want it to finish at my chin. If it's coming off underneath it probably won't stick very well. And then you'll trim the excess off here. I'm not going to trim it till it's nearly glued down just because you could sort of slightly change the shape later on. Also I have burnt the sides of the zipper where I've cut it out because this kept happening so obviously I didn't burn it very well there but I just used a lighter don't set your house on fire using Graftobian's black water activated paint I'm just painting this whole section black ready to start our galaxy set the paint with just a black eyeshadow and then gone through and tight lined my eyes. Should have done my eyeliner first but you're sort of just like yeah I want to paint my face black and then you forget. So yeah eyeliner first if you're recreating this look. So next step is for the sky getting all the blues, purples and all the different colours. So I've just got an angled sponge and I've ripped lots of little tiny holes in it. Um, and then I'm just dipping it in the colour I want, doing a little test patch on my hand to see if it comes out with the pattern that I want. So I did lots of layers of this, some watered down and some a bit more dry. The less water you use, the more pigmented it is, so I use that in certain areas. I chose to do most of the colour where the light would hit your face, so in the highlight sections, and then did less in the shadows. Taking quite a firm brush, um, I've watered down white body paint. Do a test on your hand, like we have been the whole time, just to see it's pigmented enough because you want it to be watery to flick, but not uh, too watery that you can't see it. So just using my thumb, I'm gonna try not to do it with your eyes open. This is really hard, I'm not doing it in a mirror, I'm just doing it straight to the camera. So you can see we're sort of making a bit of a mess outside this black triangle that we've made so far. So this would probably be the most important tip to do this section first because then you'll be forever trying to fix your foundation. Now I'm just going through and drawing in some stars in certain places and doing bigger dots just to give a bit of variation in the galaxy. And then I'll go back through with the three colours I used before, the pink, blue and purple, just to just cover up some of the white because when you are doing a lot of the splatters it can fill up the black too much so it just gives a bit of diversity and makes it look a bit more interesting. Using Prosate I'm going to line where the zip is going to go and you've got to put this on and let it get tacky as with any glue. To 
blend this part of the zipper. You could just do foundation, uh, but there is this little lip that doesn't look as realistic. I'd like it to look like it's coming out of my skin. So yeah, you could leave it like this, but you can still see inside the zipper. So I'm going to use Domo Gum, which is kind of like a gummy flesh tone kind of thing. Um, it's super sticky, so wet your fingers or put makeup remover or something on there. And what I'm going to do is put down some Prosade, let that get tacky, and then blend this into the zipper and my skin. Now I'm sorry for this section, the camera went a little crazy, I think the lens may have gotten dirty. So I'm just now covering up the Dermagum with latex. If you don't cover it up, it can mesh into your foundation and it just doesn't ever set because it's more of a, like a clay kind of gum. So the latex just sets everything and then makes it really seamless transition from the zipper to your face. As you can see, I've already done my foundation, my highlight and contouring, so now I'm up to adding the glitter and I'm just using an eyeliner activator to set this to the skin. Okay, so I got a little distracted with the glitter thing and then ran out of room on my phone, so I bleed glitter now, basically. So I'm just going to finish the look off now with lips and eyeliner and then we're done. So just using Rimmel's Lip Liner in Natural. And that's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. This would probably have to be one of my most favorite fancy faces so far. So if you have any suggestions, please comment below. And I hope you all had a great new year and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.